Okay, so it's 5.20, what time is it? It's 5.27 um, and I've just rocked up to the beach. I think it's gonna be a good sunrise. And so I brought along my mouth, whatever you call it, mouth mount GoPro. So then I can do behind the scenes of shooting the sunrise. And the waves are pretty really small, but the focus won't necessarily be on the waves, it'll be on the, um, the sunrise. So I'm just waiting for a bit more light. It might look kind of light on my GoPro, except because I'm taking photos, I want them to be least amount of noise as possible. So I'm just waiting for it to get a bit brighter. So if you watch this far, you're probably wondering what camera I used, what housing I used, what is the meaning of life, and why do nachos taste so good? No, and how do I, oh, what settings is my camera on, okay? So I'm gonna answer a few of those things, not all of them. Um, first one is the camera that I used was a Sony a7R IV. I think I used, no, I did use the 16 to 35 millimeter G Master 2.8 lens. The housing I used is an Aquatec Elite housing for the A7R4 with the 16 to 35 port there. And the last one is the meaning of life. The condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. So the camera settings, this is something that is ever changing for me. I'm always kind of experimenting, but as a general principle for the way I like to shoot, I like to freeze the action of whatever's happening. I'm not into like slow shutter kind of stuff. I want the end photo to look um, like how I saw it in real life. And so that's what I'm trying to shoot. You know, obviously you can get a lot more kind of creative with the way you shoot and you can do kind of weird things, whatever. But the way I like to shoot is I try just to document. There's room for artistic expression in there, but 
I'm trying to show what happened in the moment. And then from there, I can get a bit creative if I want to edit it a bit differently. So, but as far as the photo goes, I want it to look as realistic as possible. I have my shutter speed to about one over a thousand. If I fluctuate a little bit and you know, you can get away with going one eight hundredth of a second or you want it to be as fast as possible, really. I usually sit around one over 800 to one over 1250 around in that range. The trouble with the A7R4 is that the files are massive and so you actually have an increased noise when you bump up the ISO. Generally try and have the ISO or ISO, however you say it, down as low as possible. I had it this morning because it was pretty dark. I had it bumped up to about a thousand and the aperture I had at 3.5. I don't, I don't really shoot at 2.8 because I find it really struggles to focus, especially on the little like water bits. And um, I usually don't shoot over f 4.0, maybe, or sometimes I do actually 5.6, maybe six, but I definitely don't go above six. It's just the look I'm going for. I like a bit of depth of field. Maybe I should be shooting f10, f12, I don't know. But especially when you're in really low light situations, which is actually most of the time I'm shooting because it's early in the morning or late at night, late at night, early in the morning or at sunset in the afternoon. And so typically there's not much light. So I'm trying to increase as much light as I can, but I don't like shooting wide open at 2.8 because I, like I said, I find it just struggles to focus and you end up getting too much out of focus and too much depth of field. I try and shoot about f4.0, but like I said, because it's quite low light, I, want it to, I need it to be a bit op more open. So these photos were shot at f3.5. The cool thing about the housing is that you do have access to all your settings and you can change it on the fly. But they were the settings in this situation. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, make sure you subscribe, comment below, and peace out.